everyone, 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 welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Now today is actually a video that was requested by somebody in the comment section, so shout out to you for requesting it. But I definitely think it's an important one if you're looking to do remote online notary work like me. So again, if you're like me and you're doing remote online notary work or looking to get into it, there's a few things that you need to know slash know how to get in order to do it. So those things are electronic signature, an electronic notarial seal, and a digital certificate. So we'll go into what they are, how do you use them, how do you get one. Now, I always say for anything that has to do with notary work, loan signing agent work, anything like that, it's very important to tech, check with your state laws to make sure that you're doing everything correctly because states do vary. So please do your due diligence to make sure that you're doing everything by the book before you just jump right into it. But let's go into the first one. Okay, so the first one, easily the most straightforward one, is your electronic signature. Not to be confused with the digital signature because those are actually very different. So electronic signature, essentially it's just an electronic version of the wet signature that you typically put on a piece of paper. Of course, if you're going to get sent a document over the web, you need a way to be able to sign that document electronically. Now, any RON platform that you're using is going to have a way to create your signature and affix it to a document. So it's not something you have to purchase. It's not something you have to think much about. Most of the time you're given an option to either type your name in and pick from a different selection of like signature variances, whatever one gets closer to your actual signature, or you can like hand draw it in to the uh, program itself. Most of the time you can use like your mouse pad to try to draw it, or um, you can use like a physical mouse or a stylus to try to draw out your signature to get it as close as possible. Or a third option is just to upload a picture of your written signature so that way it's exact. So again, extremely straightforward. Your platform will provide you a way to get your electronic signature. Um, and of course, once you actually need to sign a document, it'll just be readily available on the side and you can just drag and drop your signature into the field and place needed to affix it. So next, let's talk about the electronic notarial seal. So it's very important when you're searching for it or like doing a Google search to actually add the notarial part. Because if you just, just do electronic seal, it's not gonna give you the search results that you think it will. But essentially, it is just an electronic version of the wet ink seal that you put on your documents when you're notarizing them. So it's gonna serve the same general purpose, right? It's gonna tell you the notary's name, the state they're commissioned in, their commission number, the expiration date. Now, it can take many forms, and it varies by state by state, but for the most part, it's gonna look almost exactly like the wet stamp that you have once it's actually affixed to the document. And if you were to get one through a third party, most of the time it's given to you in the form of an image file. So a JPEG, a PDF, a PNG file. Okay, so when it comes to your electronic tutorial seal, it's actually important to know which RON platform you plan to use because some of them do give it for free as part of being on the platform. So I know Pavaso, DocVerify, Notarize, Live Notary, and Notary Live all give it for free when you're using their platform. Um, so there's no need to go out and purchase one. But if you did want to purchase one, uh, you can either go through the NNA. I want to say it's $20. You just give them your commission information. They generate the electronic seal and they'll send it to you via image file. Or if you're in a state like Washington where the seal is ex extremely basic and straightforward, it's literally just a box with some information in it, you can either make it yourself if you're good at that or you can do it the hack way I did, which is to sign up for a free e-notary account on DocuSign. They will generate the seal for you and then you can just download it and use it for any service or any platform that you want to. So I will go into how to sign up for the DocuSign account and how to download it. Okay, so like I said, DocuSign does allow you to sign up for a free e-notary profile and depending on your state, it will auto-generate a seal for you. It doesn't do it for all states, but it does it for most states. So all you do is you go into your profile, there's gonna be a little notary section, you put in your commission information and it'll generate a seal. From there, you can just right click it, download it as a PNG and boom, you have a seal. You can use it for any platform that you want. Um, now, my suggestion, unless you're in a state that has a very intricate seal, don't pay for it. It's so easy to get it for free. It doesn't seem that hard to make one either. So I would say if you can get away with getting it for free, might as well. And of course, when it comes to actually using the seal, Pretty straightforward, whatever platform that you're using, once you've uploaded the seal or they've provided it for you, you should be able to just drag and drop it into the document and affix it to wherever you need to actually put your notarial seal. It should be fairly straightforward. 
Okay, so let's get into the final part of the equation, and that is digital certificates. Easily the most confusing part of the equation as well. Now I spent some time looking into them, and I will say I'm still confused. However, I do generally know why they're important and how they work. So contrary to the name, a digital certificate is not an actual certificate, it's not a piece of paper, but Think about it this way. So when you are uh, notarizing a document in person, right, you're putting your physical signature on it, you're putting your ink stamp on it, it is pretty easy to figure out if that document has been tampered with, right? You can see if somebody's changed your signature, you can see if they've adjusted dates, you can see if they've adjusted the seal. But when it comes to electronic documents, it's not as easy to actually tell if something's been tampered with, right? We know people who are very good at computers, very good at manipulating stuff on the web. And that is where the digital certificate comes into play. So what is a digital certificate? So I'm gonna try to keep it as basic as possible. A digital certificate is a set of unique credentials that are bound to your identity. So that way when you send a document over the web, the person on the receiving end can verify that it came from the person who they think it should be coming from. They can verify that you are who you say you are. So it serves mainly two functions, to verify identity and to make something tamper evident. Now I'll post somewhere right here an example of what it looks like when you sign something and you have a digital certificate. But if you were to click on that signature, you should be able to go in and it'll say kind of right at the top that this document has not been touched since the uh, signature has been put onto the document. And you can look even further and you can look into the credentials to see who it was issued to, who it was issued by, and if they're valid. So that way if somebody went and tried to mess with it, one, it would tell you right in the beginning, but then also if you looked at the credentials and the credentials weren't from somebody who you thought it was supposed to be from, you can tell that it uh, has been tampered with. Don't worry about knowing all the intricacies of a digital certificate. Just know that it is for the safety and security of everyone involved in this document signing. And when you sign something using a digital certificate, it actually makes the electronic, uh, the electronic signature uh, legally binding. Okay, so now that you generally know what a digital certificate is and how it works, let's talk about how to get one. So just like the electronic notarial seal, it is very important to know which RON platform that you're going to use because some of them give it for free when you purchase their package. Some of them you have to buy it directly through them. You cannot upload a third party one and some of them require you to get one from a third party. So I know Sinex and Live Notary actually provide you um, the seal itself when you purchase their package, so you don't need to go and get one yourself. Um, and then I want to say Pavasso and Doc Verify make you get the electronic or the digital certificate directly through them. And it costs, I want to say $100 on both of those platforms when you have to purchase it directly through them. Again, you cannot upload one from a third party. So don't go ahead and get one if you know those are the only platforms that you're going to use. But most other platforms have you get it through the third party. Now, there's a couple ways to do it. You can either get it through Identrust, which is what it looks like most people use, or you can go through the NNA and purchase through them and they will give you a voucher to then put on Identrust to get your digital certificate. So this is Identrust and what you'll see is a list of different platforms, especially RON platforms that you can select from. Now selecting one doesn't mean that you can only use it on that platform, it just helps you narrow down to make sure that you're getting the right certificate. So I just clicked Notarize for this case. So what you want is the basic assurance unaffiliated, and that should be good for any RON platform that allows you to upload a third party certificate. And then you just go ahead and go next. Now, the how long you're getting it for will determine the cost. So you can do it for one year, two years, or three years of a valid certificate. I went ahead and just did one year because I'm new, don't wanna necessarily lock myself in for two years. Now go ahead and it's just verifying that this is exactly what you want before you go buy now. Now, if you purchase through the NNA, they'll give you a voucher to put in here so that way you don't have to pay twice. So that's where you would put the voucher in if you decided to purchase this one through the NNA. But if not, go ahead and just go next. Okay, perfect. So you'll go ahead and just put your basic information, just like filling out any application. You'll notice that they ask you for your social security number. Remember, this is tied to your identity, almost like a unique fingerprint. So you're gonna to wanna to put in your social security number. You wanna make sure that it's password protected. You wanna make sure you have very strong security questions, but go ahead and just fill out the application and submit it. Once you've gone through the whole process, you filled out the application, you submitted all your information, it does take a few days for the actual certificate to get to you. So it's not something that's instantaneous. And again, that is because it is tied to your identity. So it is a little bit more involved um, than just like 
you know, making your seal or something like that. So just know once you've done it, it will take a few days for you to receive it. Once you do receive it, you want to export it onto your computer. That way you can upload it to the different places or different platforms that you may need to. Now, I will be honest, there are definitely way better resources and videos out there that show you exactly how to download it, exactly how to go step by step through the IdenTrust application. So I'm just going to link to those resources because those people already did a great job explaining. No need to replicate that information. Um, I know there's two YouTube videos um, in particular that I've watched like over and over again to get an understanding. I will link those in the description. And Notarize actually has a really good um, document that shows you how to fill out the IdenTrust application, um, what to do once you get in, how to download it to your computer, and all of that. So I'm also going to link that in the description. Now I am really hoping that I did not make you more confused about digital certificates and the whole process through this video. Hopefully it was straightforward. If not, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but take a look at the resources that I pinned in the description. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.